Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on our webinar. Today, you will learn on how you can drive new business opportunities, build lasting relationships with your clients, and how can a SECO assist you in this journey. My name is Ivona Magdic, and I will be your host. During the presentation, please feel free to ask questions in the Q&A section, which is located at the right bottom side of your screen. We'll do our best to answer all of them after the presentation. Firstly, I want to introduce our speakers, uh, Sanel Volaric, who is expert consultant, C-level manager with vast experience in product development and digitalization in the financial industry. And Kreshimir Šuljak, who is business development expert in ASECO, has extensive knowledge and experience in business analysis, project management, and development for global clients in various sectors. Today's agenda is focused on how to establish better digital customer experience and make your your business more productive. Now, a few words about our company. The ASECO Group has presence in more than 55 countries. We develop innovative IT solutions for millions of people around the world. These solutions have a real impact on the reality around us. As one of the biggest software providers in Europe, we use our cross-sex know-how and experience to meet the ever-growing expectations of our customers. Modern insurance accompanies customers around the clock, wherever they are. The role of traditional sales process has been improved by human tech balance by implementing right digital tools. They must be easy to operate, comfortable, safe, and able to provide a seamless customer experience. Your customers expect a personalized offer, which is adapted to their needs. More about these trends, opportunities, and challenges you will hear from Sanel. Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to have all of you today uh, with us. As an introduction to this webinar, we will discuss uh, some, main, uh, some of the main challenges and trends in insurance uh, industry. But before that, I would like to uh, discuss with you a bird view of the overall impact of the digital revolution on, on the industries. Probably the best framework to do so is one developed by Global Center for Digital Business uh, Transformation, which has a very interesting uh, representation of this impact on the industries like a store vortex. According to this uh, 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 research, which measures the impact of uh, uh, digitalization on industries to four dimensions, uh, one, invest and how much money is invested in, in a certain industry, when and uh, at what rate digital disruption are going to occur, how strong the barriers to entry to, to certain industry, and uh, what is the potential magnitude of disruption in the certain industries. The main message is from the last report is very strong. We have already been living in the digital age. While only four, four years ago, only 27% of the participants, meaning executives and senior managers uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the industries, uh, perceived digital disruption uh, initiated by digital revolution as something major and transformative to their business. Only four years ago, in the last research, more than 88% uh, of, the, of the participants shared that, uh, shared that opinion. There are many other messages that you can find in this report, but two others I would like to mention the, in this occasion. One is that many of the traditional legacy companies will disappear from their uh, markets. According to this research, around one third uh, of, the, of the legacy companies will be displayed by the, uh, displaced by the digital disruption. In some industries, even 40 to 50% uh, of the companies and what is more interesting for our discussion today is that executives uh, only in free industries, in code, uh, including financial one, are more concerned and confident about their uh, ability to uh, proactively respond to digital disruption and, and, and find it uh, as an opportunity to, to develop uh, their business. So, the question is not if we are living and doing business in digital age. Also, it's not question anymore if uh, that one, none of us is able to resist that powerful uh, 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 force. The only question is, are we uh, actively responding to digital disruption to, 
to avoid threats and find opportunities to develop our business. According to the latest research, a number of companies that are actively responding to digital disruption is slightly growing from 31 to 34 percent, which is still surprisingly low. And a portion of the companies that have articulated some kind of articulated uh, uh, strategy, digital strategy, uh, in, uh, increased from 54 to 75 percent over the last two years. But problem and main challenge is that only 22 percent of them are doing a professional portfolio approach and have coordinated digital strategy uh, which links initiatives and investments to the real business goals. Uh, having focus on financial industries, we can see that financial industry is continuously among the five strongest impacted uh, industries in digital uh, uh, revolution, but not on the first line like media, entertainment, uh, and technology, uh, uh, it's uh, it's actually in the second line. Uh, many people, in, uh, many managers in financial industries interpret it as a, as, as a commodity to not to have a, a, a sense of urgency to, to do something, but uh, it's very questionable how this comfortable situation will remain uh, for financial industries. So this this comfortable situation and this uh, opportunity not to be on the first line give us enough time to to to, to change our business uh, uh, models and coming back to the information that uh, uh, only in three industries uh, executives are more concerned and confident about uh, uh, opportunities providing digital disruption uh, from my experience i would say there are two main reasons one is uh, legacy IT systems in the financial industry and both banking and insurance are very heterogeneous, very complex, uh, and it's really a huge burden for, for management, uh, uh, CIOs and, and others uh, to maintain such uh, complexity in the environment of very strong uh, regulatory compliance and security pressure. Uh, as well, uh, they're, they're, uh, on the business side, they work uh, in a very uh, complex and demanding uh, demanding environment. Before we discuss major uh, business uh, challenges uh, uh, insurance companies are facing, I would like you to answer one, uh, one uh, interesting question and interpretation of the results will be very important for our further discussion. So what do you think, how uh, what is the trend of cost ratio over the last six to seven years of uh, European PNC insurers? It, it remained same at the level of 25%. It dramatically dropped from 25 to 20, uh, 29 to 25. It stayed the same at the level of 29% and it grew dramatically from 25 to 29%. So European insurers are uh, developing their uh, businesses in a very challenging in, in environment, which is much more challenging than in other regions of the, uh, of the globe, like US, uh, uh, Asia, and, and first of all, the main, uh, okay, behind all of these uh, challenges, there is a corona and, uh, and, and crisis, uh, which emphasize most of these uh, most of the trends, uh, so we can discuss it a bit later. But the main uh, uh, the main challenge uh, faced by insurance industry is anemic uh, economic growth, which is around one per, uh, one percent, which means very low uh, economic activities, which means uh, uh, not growing of personal incomes or of uh, government investments and all these. Uh, 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 all are negative news for the uh, growth of uh, of uh, insurance insurance uh, business. Uh, low interest rates and uh, are uh, interest rates are at the lowest uh, uh, level, uh, historically lowest level, and even um, uh, decreasing in such environment. Results uh, is not the main uh, or, or better. It's not contributor to bottom line at all anymore. And uh, because of low interest rates, uh, product development in the life and health uh, area is, uh, is, must be completely different, moving from saving orientation to, 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 to protection, protection base. 
uh, uh, rising uh, uh, customer expectations. So uh, our customers in financial industries are doing business with many other industries. So for example, we have a long weekend in a couple of days. Many people will go for a weekend, for example, to Budapest through digital platforms. They will uh, book a transportation. They will find a temporary flat there. They will order uh, food to, to the flat. They will find some place for life, uh, night life, and so on. And uh, so everything what they do, they do on digital platforms. On Monday, they will come back uh, uh, to Zagreb. Uh, they will try to renew policy or, or uh, contact their personal banker in a bank. And suddenly, they will return back in a parallel uh, non-digital uh, world. So actually, all uh, 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 so other industries are raising the expectation of the, of, the, uh, of the customers when they deal business with the, with the financial industries as well. A couple more things about uh, uh, challenges of demographic trends. Uh, uh, unlike other regions, uh, I know there are many participants here from other regions, but demographic trends in Europe are really uh, tremendous. So in, in 30 years, uh, ratio between employed and uh, uh, people and pensioners will dramatically go down from 4 to 1 to 2 to 1. Uh, uh, most of the people will be in the range of 65 plus, uh, it will make a huge pressure on, on, on all uh, public funds, especially on pension and health, uh, uh, health insurance. So uh, it's a huge uh, a threat for insurance business, but also opening many opportunities to find uh, new business models and new products that will uh, help governments to fill these uh, uh, gaps. And for the end, natural catastrophe. So, uh, for example, in 2017, total economic loss of uh, hurricanes in the world was five times higher than average uh, over the, the last 16 years. Uh, situation in, the, in 2018-19 is a bit better, but it seems that climate change is an irreversible process, and uh, this is one of the new normals that will insurance industry need to accept and not only insurance industry, most of uh, also uh, our governments and others. Uh, so natural catastrophes are uh, 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 causing a huge uh, losses. Governments are covering these losses uh, uh, by uh, public funds, by money collected for taxpayers. So it's really they are pretending to be Santa Claus and uh, 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 doing so, but uh, this is not. Uh, sustainable anymore. I think that um, there is a part, there is, there is a need for partnership between governments and insurance companies uh, to extend the percentage of of, uh, of insured property, and uh, which is also uh, a huge help for governments, but also new opportunities for business development for insurers. There are many there are many uh, reports and. Uh, 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 created by insurance company associations, big four companies, about how insurance business is responding to these uh, uh, challenges and what are the main trends uh, in insurance business, especially having in mind using this uh, uh, digital technology opportunities. Probably one of the best one is, is EY, insurance, uh, insurance outlook, so we will base uh, uh, next minutes of the webinar uh, on, this, on this report. Uh, th this report clearly shows that, uh, uh, that there are five major, uh, uh, major uh, trends and imperatives in insurance business in PNC area. So these are uh, uh, dig uh, digital, uh, 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 digitized sales and uh, distribution, win the war for talents, uh, active cost uh, efficiency, uh, 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 initiatives uh, managing persistent regulation, regulatory uh, pressure and uh, navigating sustainability and uh, climate uh, change. Uh, first about uh, digital, di digital transformation sales and distribution. So it's, uh, it's much more than creating channels for direct consumer interaction. It's enabling internal, uh, internal sales force and other employees to effectively manage their own channel environment and offer their clients uh, uh, channel of choice uh, at a certain moment of their business and private uh, uh, life. Uh, 
second one, so uh, probably more than in other uh, industries, uh, digital transformation is dependent on the right talent, uh, culture and skills necessary to, to, to realize the full value of the digital transformation initiatives in the, in the industries. In the situation of uh, no growth, uh, low interest rates, uh, uh, high customer expectations, actually cost reduction is the only area to improve uh, bottom line. Uh, but let's see the results. How, how, uh, what do you think? How insurance companies are responding and uh, how they are effective in this area? So most of you think that uh, cost ratio grew from 25 to 29 percent. Actually, situa situation is not that bad. Uh, uh, actually, cost ratio remained at the level of 29, uh, 29 percent. So, which is also not uh, good news because uh, uh, there are a lot of initiatives in, in the area of cost cutting um, uh, management, not only CFOs, but the, the, most of the managers are, really, uh, are focused on cost cutting initiatives. And uh, uh, as you can see, for, for six, seven years, cost ratio uh, in insurance remained the same, while at the same time, for example, in, in telecom business, uh, it dropped for 50%. Uh? So still, so there is a huge room for improvement uh, uh, in the area of uh, having more efficient uh, uh, cost cutting uh, uh, initiative. But cost cutting should not be uh, wings clipping, which is uh, one of the ma major threats threats of cost cutting initiatives. Uh, cost cutting must be done in a way to raise funds for a successful digital transformation, not to to close doors for future development initiatives. Uh, regulatory pressure, so when you talk to managers in finance industry, so most of the time you will probably discuss uh, burden coming from the uh, uh, regulatory compliance uh, and security, so it's very high on their agenda. Uh, uh, so uh, I think that uh, uh, some uh, workarounds are not, uh, uh, may provide maybe some short term results, but in a, uh, all these initiatives must be considered in a, in a broader picture and insurers should see the ways how to do it in a, in a comprehensive way and at the same time to push some uh, new business uh, models. And at the end, as we discussed, so natural catastrophes are a huge threat for the for the insurance business. They are uh, increasing costs of reinsurance in that way, uh, decreasing net uh, net uh, incomes from the premium. But uh, at the same time, insurance industry should see, and many of uh, insurers see this as opportunity for uh, new revenue streams. Situation in in life and health. Uh, area is uh, quite uh, uh, similar, just uh, as you probably expect these uh, regulatory is issues in, in, in life and health area are actually the most important uh, trend and imperative uh, in, this, in this area. Actually, life and health business is struggling to stay relevant. So, uh, life and health products are more, mostly based on the savings on the savings uh, 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 positioning, so in a low interest rate or even negative interest rate, so it's not possible to base products in, uh, as a saving product, so some new models must be, uh, uh, must be implemented. Uh, digi the digitalizing of sales and distribution is not the major, but the second major trend and exact, so, uh, which means that actually uh, but again, uh, all these products cannot be uh, fully commoditized. Uh, it will never be sold through web shops or, or and uh, every, uh, all insurance must find the right uh, human tech mix to, to manage customer relationship in this area. Uh, the, same, the same about active cost efficiency. It must be done in a way to open new uh, new new growth opportunity, not to cut, uh, uh, not to clip wings of the future uh, growth. Uh, fourth trend, actually, it's coming from the from the PNC part. Uh, it's uh, leveraging IoT and uh, uh, and connected insurance. Actually, insurers have a great opportunity because insured objects are. 
uh, gradually becoming Internet of Things through through connecting sensors. So all uh, homes, all uh, other property, all cars, e even human beings through uh, variables that we have on, on handset and elsewhere, uh, all of us are becoming Internet of Things uh, devices and insured objects. It provides opportunity for, for insurance, for uh, individual risk profiles and uh, personalized uh, uh, insurance offers. And the fifth thing, uh, so promoting uh, financial well-being, as we said, so uh, in the future, especially in Western Europe, so public funds will, uh, public funds will not uh, be capable of providing uh, a level of service that, that our civilization get used to. So governments will need a partnership with insurance company to, to help them to fill uh, that uh, gap. So uh, having all this in mind, uh, I see insurer of the future as a manager of uh, cloud-based uh, 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 cloud uh, e ecosystem, a cloud-based business platform based on the, on the technology uh, uh, cloud uh, uh, platform. So far, insurers are only exper most experimenting with such cloud technologies. Uh, maybe pushing some uh, non-critical functionalities there, but I think it's just a matter of time when it will be common understanding that uh, uh, insurance uh, uh, first uh, by lift and shift and later the, uh, developing uh, native cloud uh, business models need to, to need to migrate to cloud uh, uh, cloud uh, platforms to 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 to, to harvest. Uh, benefits from all this move, uh, lowering spexes, uh, variable cost structure, so it's changing uh, uh, CAPEX for OPEX and improve data protection and security, what was the main reason why not to do it a few years uh, ago. First step in developing such ecosystem of, of connected insurance is transforming uh, the uh, uh, product portfolio. So, and many insurance are going to digit, uh, in digitization by digitalizing a uh, product portfolio as it is uh, uh, now, which is uh, probably a path to failure. So first, uh, product portfolio should be transformed, You uh, uh, taking advantage of all, all these trends that we discussed, especially Internet of Things uh, trend, and uh, uh, to create fully personalized proposition. Uh, after that, so, going to, to, to digitizing uh, sales and uh, distribution channel, channels enabling both Salesforce and customers to, 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 to do full uh, business interaction through omni-channel uh, uh, digital tools, optimization and, and digitalization of operation and processes both internal and external is, is uh, uh, crucial for providing seamless uh, customer experience for, for uh, for, for our customers, and at the end, so to make this ecosystem complete, insurers uh, need external partners in different area to help them to, to create this product offer as complete. Repair shops, uh, transport companies, home services providers, telcos to help them to, to implement this uh, Internet of Things uh, concept in their product portfolio and so on. But to manage such uh, actually, online connected insurance uh, uh, insurers need uh, reliable uh, uh, digital tools, especially end-to-end -end CRM solution that will provide them uh, uh, adequate level of support in sales efficiency, in managing uh, customer interactions and uh, uh, process optimization. Uh, thank you, Sanil, for the overview of the trends and challenges in digital transformation but also for the opportunities this process can make for the companies like ASECO. On the last slide, you managed to summarize how one connected insurance digital platform should look like. From product digitalization, employee enabling, enabling, enabling across personalized offers through preferred channels, to optimized and transparent operations in sales, claims management, and customer care. We think ASECO has, lost, has lot to offer to make this happen. As everything is digital, allow me to start with the digital customer experience. And it might be odd to hear this from me as a technology provider, but insurers must shift their IT mindset 
from a technology first inside out approach to one that begins with customer needs in mind, providing digital and omnichannel access, which is fundamentally outside in. Those insurers that succeed in delivering this kind of digital experiences stand to reap the rewards of increased customer loyalty and profitability. Gartner research revealed that 81% of organizations say they expect to be competing mostly or completely based on customer experience. On another hand, and also as you said, there is one asset and that is communication. It often plays a major role when, when organizations are trying to increase customer satisfaction and offering new digital channels can build lasting relationship with the entire customer base, creating regular engagement and trust, which are vital to having a good customer experience. A majority of relationships starts and ends with the communication. ASECO recognized the importance of it and difference that having integrated communication channels and customer history information can make to individualized and personal service possible across a variety of channels. Customers expect to manage their business anywhere, anytime, and on any device. You must respond by providing always on and fluid user experiences. This is the conceptual overview of ASECO Live, and it shows almost all features that can help your organization to establish an environment that will provide one central interface with no need to change systems when switching communication channels, processes, or products. It shows, it shows functionalities and features our product can offer, from traditional communication channels across business process shaping modules to a virtual branch. We all know how technology has changed the way organizations work, and perhaps more importantly, how customers interact with them and, now, and how high customer expectations are in digital era. And that's where ASECO can help the organizations on their path to become digital. Virtual branch can quickly transform your organization so you can digitize your products, processes like sales, and customer service to better manage complexity and to improve operational efficiency, whether it's about advising customer on insurance plan or to overcome difficulties in, let's say, slow claim process. It adds new communication channels, such as video or social networks to your company profile, uh, making it look innovative and digital, especially to younger generations. As mentioned, it is one central interface for customer and for an organization, and no need to install any additional software or to change systems when switching communication channels, processes, or products. Also, it will create an opportunity to replace physical with virtual meetings. And as Sunil Sunil said earlier, it is not creating channels for direct consumer interaction, it is about digital tools that enable Salesforce. While in remote meeting with the customer and assuming digital signature is implemented, this makes the process fully digital because customer will be able to sign the deal and to close the deal digitally or virtually. It is very important to underline that every part of digital customer journey from product packaging across personalized offerings to the meetings with the customers and closing the deals is controlled in the virtual branch administration. And just one quick uh, remark on digital signature. We know that it can be differently, differently regulated in different markets, but our product is ready to work with almost all recognized and qualified certificate authorities. Uh, this means our virtual branch and digital communication channels will help you to serve your customers immediately after one identifies product or service he's interested for. No leads will be left behind and complete process will start and finish digitally. A few years ago, this was sci-fi, but time to lead and grow your business digitally is now. Other fun functionalities making a Seco Live not just communication platform, but a comprehensive CRM can enable your organization to serve clients who are now more than ever expecting information that must be provided according to personal needs and wants and the individual level of know-how to avoid misunderstandings and create real benefits. Uh, additional features and channels in virtual branch, and I will mention just a few of them, from nice to have one like surveys, 
uh, where any organization can create, distribute, and collect results in service to some, I would say, must have one like co browsing, which can make process of, for instance, guiding or advising your customers through product details more easy and comfortable. As we all know, name virtual branch is in its nature connected to sales. We all go to branch to buy something, but besides that, it can offer a lot more in a digital way, of course, but a few more words on that in the second part of today's webinar. Uh, now, Sanal, uh, with your extensive uh, experience in digital uh, transformations and leading companies uh, on the C level and as a CSO, can you tell us a little bit more about your experience? Yeah, thank you, Ivona. So, uh, my career is really a bit yeah, specific. So I was a CIO very deep in, in IT topics and projects and operations and so on. When when my boss invited me for a chat and uh, uh, told me that uh, I will need to, I will, I would leave my comfort zone and take responsibility for sales uh, and uh, and distribution results and uh, further development. Huh? So I was very excited about that uh, move, uh, despite my. Uh, uh, people around me were not very optimistic uh, uh, and shared the same emotion as I did. So people uh, used to say that IT guy will not be uh, uh, very successful in sales, but actually I'm very much proud. I'm more prouder about my results in sales than, than in IT. Uh, so as, of course, as an IT guy, I was involved in many digital initiatives in, in, in sales. I like this uh, merger between IT and sales. So. I would like to mention a few experiences uh, uh, from my 15 years uh, career in this, let's say, uh, a connection between IT and sales. Uh, first, uh, people. Huh? I'm a digital guy, but I always put people uh, in, in front of uh, 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 digital and uh, employee, employee experience before customer experience. So. I always invest in uh, uh, employee experience, and uh, this is the best way how to achieve great customer uh, uh, customer experience. So, digital transformation is not about uh, 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 reducing FTEs uh, and uh, closing brick, uh, brick and mortar branches and so on. So it's uh, it's uh, just of course it will be done during the digital transformation, but it must not be the first outcome of of, of these uh, of these initiatives. It's about enabling people to be more productive and more uh, uh, more efficient. And future branches are uh, uh, engagement hubs where we will meet our clients, uh, where we will uh, learn about their uh, needs. We will teach them about financial products and, and, and so on. Uh, the second cost cutting, as uh, as uh, we said a couple times uh, uh, today, uh, I'm really afraid of cost cutting initiatives because they uh, they are a double edged sword. Uh, they they can lead you not to increasing business but to decrease business. Even Porter. Uh, uh, made one um, uh, research and scientific article in 1985 that uh, investment in IT is not always productive. It can, it can be very dangerous for the business future. Unfortunately, over these 40 years after this article, there are many examples that uh, uh, that prove this uh, this uh, this article. Their digital transformation is not about simple switching customer to digital uh, to digital uh, channels uh, personally i don't know everyone uh, anyone who likes ivrs or today smart ivrs called uh, chatbots or virtual uh, assistant my kids got uh, one for as a christmas uh, uh, present and they used it for two three days after that they put it on the shelf and it's laying there for a few for a few months i think that uh, our customers are human beings they want other human beings uh, taking care of them, but uh, uh, enabled, equipped, and skilled uh, uh, people that is taking care of their needs. The fourth uh, 
digital transformation is not only developing web shops and enabling direct sales of uh, our existing products. Before all, it's transforming product portfolio and to enable uh, this uh, omni-channel approach. I think that uh, um, uh, insurers have a great opportunity because their subject of their business, uh, insured objects, are uh, actually uh, uh, becoming Internet of Things. So it really opened a tremendous uh, space to, to, to improve our product portfolio and come to and uh, 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 go away from this actuarial approximation of the risk and uh, come to uh, individual risk profiles. And as the last point, so uh, digital transformation is not only preparing products for digital transformation, it's actually, uh, uh, it's really pity to stop on, 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 on that level. I think that insurance, like many other industries, have opportunity to go step uh, above that and develop platforms around their uh, around their uh, product. So uh, me and my team, as, as, a, uh, we, uh, as, a, as a first step of building this connected insurance, we developed our loyalty program as a platform which connects our uh, retail client uh, segment with our uh, corporate uh, client segment. So actually our corporate clients were, uh, were uh, enabled to for free approach our retail clients with active policy in their segments. Uh, it was opening new um, market niches for them without, uh, uh, without marketing uh, uh, costs. And on the other side, they provided to our retail clients some, uh, some special offers that they cannot get on the, on the market. I think that this platform direction is the, is the future uh, of, of the insurance uh, business. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sano. So our focus is digitalization and enabling your people. Kreshim, can you tell us um, from your experience, how do we do it? Yes, thank you. I want to thank you, Sano, also for mentioning how important it is to enable your customers to have choice of their preferred channel, but also to have it inside of unified platform to handle it all in one place. You also said it, lots of things about enabling your employees and how important it is to make them more productive and effective. And that is also a big part of digital transformation. And this is exactly our goals. Totally on the same page here. And we want to reconcile new technology and employees, making sure it is understood that we are a tool that helps them uh, in making their customers and employer happy and satisfied. Applicability of digital channels and digitalized processes in insurance, we think is no question at all. But also we understand, and I really do not want anyone to be offended with this statement, that for some companies, and Sano, you talked about that, digital transformation may be considered as a costly and unnecessary commitment. And there is no doubt that this process takes time, investment, and patience. But there are bright examples that in the end it is worth it. It is still people that make the difference and build relationships. Our solution is aimed at making service more personal and human while generating a and for the business. Complex products and uh, products and information can be hard to explain over traditional channels or in web shops. A SECO Live lets you guide and advise your customers in real time, saving time and money, making the perfect opportunity to gain additional trust and loyalty where upsell and cross sell is just a matter of time. As Sanal said, or he paraphrased uh, Ernst Young, the inevitable digitalization journey will always need digital or physical face-to-face -face interaction due to complexity of some insurance products. And we are here to provide the technology for business and solutions for people. Within this journey, we are your partners and we help you through this process with our know-how gained through the years. But rest assured, we know great service is a human thing, even when it is virtual. And we will now talk examples and thank you email, you will receive materials with our reference list. There are a number of companies on that list that already implemented our virtual branch and other features to cover different areas in customer related processes. From digital sales, digital onboarding, which are always most attractive to finance industry, 
across digital assistance with the objective to positively impact customer satisfaction, to compliance and regulation-related processes such as anti-money laundry, where positive identification is prerequisite to perform a transaction. And examples go from simple to more complex ones, so let's start with simple one. Organization having majority of our country seamen as clients, and Croatia is known as maritime country, implemented virtual branch to gain simple but useful benefit, among many others, of course, to serve their clients via video or audio calls. Remember, these guys, seamen, they're all around the world. Before, they had to call landline number, hoping someone will pick up, and not to mention costs of that type of communication for a customer and for an organization. So try to adjust this story to an everyday situation in your business. Deliver flexible, integrated, and consistent interactions across all channels, enabling anytime, any place access. And one can contact your organization at almost no cost to ask for information or, let's say, to file a claim, not just by sending needed documents or pictures, but to do it in real time while conversation, video conversation, is recorded and can be checked in details later by inspectors. I say this because I want to emphasize the fact, visibility, and applicability of digital branch. And it's up to you to check on your current setup and to identify where to make breakthrough and go digital. Of course, we had projects for adding new communication channels or adding the possibility to, remote, to remotely sign the documents was not enough. And this gets us back to Sano's last slide and part where he talked about optimized and digitalized operations from customer care claims to maybe the most important operation, sales. And the goal was to make the sales process more transparent, both for the company and the customer, to make it manageable and more resistant to constant change. At the beginning, we took care of very important thing, and that is having customer contacts and history together in one place and easy to reach. This way, and no matter where uh, is sales lead, who is sales lead owner, live, a second live can make whole organization ready to sell. Second, analytics. Uh, or deep analytics of customer data leads to a quality segmentation which results in more quality leads who are presented with personalized offers. And we think this part never ends as there are numerous, numerous improvement possibilities in front of us and the goal is to have manageable data model able to adapt to any change or trend. Lead generation source or channel is not an issue anymore. All of them are under the same roof and are handled according to company rules and expectations visible, transparent, and manageable all the time. If lead is generated in internal or better external representative's little book, and I think you know what I'm talking about, the sales process can be fine-tuned to the smallest details. From how much time there has to be a contact try to close it, or what is happening with the lead if representative is not part of your organization anymore. Of course, and there's rebound and experienced, experienced partner working with insurers for quite some time, we took care of all those written and unwritten rules when it comes to sales lead management in insurance industry. And not to forget the situation we witnessed for the last few months, and unfortunately some parts of the world are still, still under the lockdown, and this opened many eyes and fast forwarded some expectations related to technology adoption for at least two or three years. We all saw how digital channels can suddenly become not just preferred, but only available ones. And this situation was our opportunity to once again prove ourselves to our customers that we can act quickly and deliver what they needed the most in that hard times. According to discussions we had recently, I'm proud to confirm that we succeeded. We helped them on their way to digitalize their business, or at least some parts of it, if it wasn't on the bright, brightest occasion. And this brings us near the end of the part where we talk. I will now hand uh, over the microphone to Ivona. Q&A session is ahead. I think we have a few questions already. And now it's your time to ask anything that might interest you, and we will try to answer it all. As this first question, yes, we will send a hard copy of the presentation. Maybe I can answer yes, it Yes, thank you, Krishman. I was about to say that. Uh, thank you both. Uh, this was a really uh, great and interesting uh, presentation. So we can proceed with our questions from the audience. Uh, we have a question. How fast can you implement your virtual branch solution? 
How fast? Yeah. It depends on how many features. Is it like? No, <laughs> I, I, I would say so. We are talking about the product, not some solution that we have, you know, developed uh, or customized uh, for uh, each new customer. So it is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going deep into technology to talk about WebRTC or something. But let's say from week to I don't know one week. It can be if infrastructure is ready. So we are talking about the cloud-based solution. I think that. It, one week is, is time when someone can start to use the virtual branch. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have one question which we received previous to the presentation. Uh, what is our prediction for insurance in the next three to five years? Samuel, can you help us with this question? Yes, thank you. So we talked a lot uh, uh, about it, so I think it's... Uh, the future is uh, taking advantage of the, of the fact that uh, insured objects are becoming Internet of Things, so opening opportunity to 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 create uh, individual risk profiles and personalized uh, insurance uh, offers. Uh, uh, money for that and bu budgets for that should come from the smart cost-cutting initiatives. Uh, I had one uh, one boss who, who was when he was angry he used to say every idiot knows how to cut costs so it's really true so it's 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 easy to make any cost cutting initiatives but cost cutting must be done in a, in a smart way that will open new opportunities not to close not to close okay I think you want to we have one question from us Yes. And the question is, is it available in Macedonia? So I don't know, is it about the webinar, so should we talk in Macedonian? Or I think maybe it's about the materials or maybe application, the software. So yes, it is. It is, uh, software is, and application and everything you saw today is available in Macedonia. And we have a local team, so we yes, can... Yes, we have a local team in Macedonia. Connect. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, if you already have contact center, can you connect virtual branch to existing contact center? Yes, we see the virtual branch part of our SECO Live as, let's say, separate product, but uh, natural, it's a natural extension of existing SECO Live contact center. But yes, of course, it can be uh, integrated with any other well-known solution. I'm not going to mention it now to advertise our competition or something, <laughs> but yes, it can be integrated with, uh, with other applications, yeah. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Kreshmir, thanks, Sanal. Uh, folks, that's all for today. Uh, thank you all once again for being here with us. I uh, hope this was a good experience for you as it was for us. Uh, and for any additional questions, suggestions, comments, and presentation, please uh, uh, contact us on the information you see on your screen. Take care and goodbye. There are some, so, so, sorry, uh -huh. can, we, can, we, can we do it like one minute more? Okay, sure. Okay, <laughs> so this contacts and everything, it will be sent by an email of later, course, yes. Yes. so they will, okay. the audience will have contacts. And there is a question, can virtual branch be connected to all the existing CRM system? Of course, and that I think is, is, is a good thinking. So if there is an existing CRM, virtual branch should be connected to an existing CRM system. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.